All right, guys, today is the day. We are finally going to get this village that we found clear back in the first episode. We've been expanding our city throughout most of the area, but we've never really taken care of this original village area. So today we're going to take this and turn it into this. So the first thing we got to do is probably take most of those houses down. Unfortunately, they are not the right colors from what we've been using. Uh, the cobblestone's not bad, but we're not going to use a lot of those browns, obviously, or that pink looking white terracotta. So we're going to move, remove some of the buildings, but I'm going to still put markers down. So remember where those buildings are. I want to keep some of the original layout of the city, but let's go out there, start tearing it down. Okay, so the first couple things that we really want to make sure that we focus on here is kind of preserving what this village gives us. So we've got kind of our main walkway that we established way back a couple up in one of our first episodes. But what I've always appreciated kind of about this area is how tight these buildings were. That it felt like you were going down like a little main street or back alley and you kind of had to stay in between the buildings. So it felt a little tight through this area. I want to preserve that. So even though we're going to rip down most of these buildings, especially like this one that has no blocks that we can use other than the cobblestone, I still want to make sure that we preserve kind of this view and this sight line that we have. So that's what we're going to preserve. That's why I want to mark out. So what I'm going to do is start tearing these down. We'll put some white blocks in the corners so that we knew, know where the buildings were. So let's get it done. All right, and there's what it looks like when we take out the first house. So we've got the corners marked here. So we can definitely come back, rebuild one there. We're going to keep doing it. Let's tear down another one. Maybe let's sleep first. That's too bad. We just made all of our concrete powder into concrete. So I guess we're replacing that at some point. Oh, well, let's keep finishing this off. Okay, I'll pick up this last few things here. I'll go dump it off. I got some chests over there. We'll dump that off. As you can see, we're getting them down. I'm not going to make you watch all of those time lapses of us taking down all these houses. So I'll do that off camera real quick. We'll come back and then we'll start planning out where we're going to put or what these houses are going to look like. Have you ever wanted to see what a village looks like after you did all of that and cut it down? Well, here's what it looks like in two chests. Man, that's a lot of stuff. But we got most of this cleared out. We have our two villagers. We have a few cows left over. But other than that, you can see we've pretty much tore down this village. Let's go up to the top of our scaffolding and see what it looks like up there. And this is what it looks like from up here. We're clear up above. You can see where we used to have a little house down here. Mark it there and there. And I think there's another one over there. And then all these houses, we've taken them out. We've put some wool down so we can mark where we're going to start rebuilding the houses. And I don't know if we're going to get it all. I don't know if we're going to build this portion or if we'll also build this. But let's at least start getting some of these houses in. And next, we got to go get the resources. Let's get them. And now that we got some of the resources gathered, we've got the city pulled down. I think we're ready to go. So what I've got is in here, depending on the color, it's kind of the color of the blocks they're in. So I think we've got enough. Most of this we gathered from over where our beacon is being down in that area. And so I think we have enough resources. We'll need some of the other things as we go. But let's start by getting our first house in right here. So I think what I'm going to do is almost try and replace this house exactly. I don't know, because I want to put something out to the side. You know what? Let's put our first house here. So what I'm thinking is the actual house goes here and then maybe like a little garden area on the side. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. 
Let me get the stuff together and let's get it built. And with a little video editing, we've got that done. This one wasn't too hard. You can see it's pretty straightforward. Tried to keep it somewhat the same size as what we did or what we had with these original buildings, but wanted to make them a little bigger. So it might be a little wider. Where are these? Oh, it's the same width, but I did make this one a little bit deeper, but we got that house built. We got it in. Oh, and look who decided to show up to check it out. But we got it in. It's fairly straightforward building. Single room. I did put a bed in there because I need to sleep somewhere. A little uh, garden area here. And we've got it. We've got our first one in. Now let's go do a bunch more. And then there was a cake shop. I'm not sure if there's grayscale cakes, but we at least got a cake shop where they can sell them here. Someone can work back there. We might even breed these guys up and put one in there. Just so we have someone working in the cake shop. I just got to finish up a few little pieces here. I think that's blended okay. We got to fix the path maybe a little right here. It's looking a little flat. We'll round that out as we do some of the landscaping. But we got that house in. We got in a cake shop. Let's just keep going. Okay, and we're back with another build. We're actually just right behind the two that we just built. But this one I wanted to go a little bigger. So I left the wool here just to show you. There was a house right here. And there was a house right here. But we kind of just took over the spot of both. I want a little bit bigger area for us to build, have this building. So what we have here is essentially a place that we can come smell all of our stuff when we're in this area. We got our regular furnaces and down here we have our blast furnaces so we can come in do whatever we need to there's an anvil made this really try and look like a blacksmith place and maybe we'll get one of the villagers in here to work in here but i don't know how we would keep him so that is our blacksmith gotta do some landscaping we'll do all the landscaping putting trees and all that here in a little bit but we at least got it in we'll build something like i say there but now we gotta start getting some smaller houses. Gotta figure out what we're sticking in here. And a little more building later, we've got another building now. I tried to map out like having the two buildings like there was before, but it just wasn't working. So kind of left the blocks here so you could see kind of there was a building on this side and this side, and I just stuck one right in the middle. Nothing too fancy, little porch on the front, little bit of room on the inside. We're going to have to decorate a whole bunch of these houses. Not sure what this one is, but it's just off the main path here. You come up, we're starting to now get that where we had the uh, multiple houses in here. We're trying to build that alley back up so we don't lose kind of that aspect of walking through the houses. So I might have to do this one and this one next. Uh, let's see which one I get an idea for first. Okay, I changed my mind. I actually wanted to come up here and see the progress we were doing first. I had to eat a little bit there real quick. But I wanted to see how it was looking and seeing if we were getting kind of the right proportions. So those houses were so tight in there before. I still want to keep that. But I also want to make sure that we have room for some trees. And this is a village after all, so we're going to need to put some farms. We have this one from originally when we started building the city and our starter home down here. I want to keep making sure we have some space like that. So I might actually space some of these houses out just a little bit more, but I think we're getting there. Uh-oh. Ooh. Luckily that wasn't bad, but let's get building. All right, y'all. I bit off a lot more than I can chew in this episode. I thought we were going to easily get this village converted. But man, it's been a long, a lot of work, and I barely got this house in. So let's kind of see where we're at now to kind of give you, there's that blacksmith we did. Here's kind of the alleyway we're trying to preserve. Wasn't quite sure. There was a house here. I left these so you could see kind of what we had going on. And then up here was a market. And it had kind of an awkward entrance in here. And then there was another stall over here. It just didn't seem right. So we're still going to preserve a market. I think we might move it up there. I think this might be a cool spot to kind of make a little sea of uh, market stalls here. So this one, I took over where there was part of the market. Down here, if you remember, which is probably hard to remember, there was a, some farmland. We 
It was one of those um, ones with the oak logs all the way around them. We're not going to use those, but I do think this might be a cool area to kind of reintroduce some of the farmland. So we'll probably convert this part to farmland. And then I decide instead of cramming another house in here, let's just put the road through so we can have an easy way to kind of come through here up to wherever we need to. Here's that main alley we've been working on and we'll bring that right through here. And then it will obviously wrap around and come to this path. We're gonna keep this path because I think it was a good centralized one that we had before. Here was a two story building. We're gonna probably do that one next because for whatever reason, my brain is wanting to build these bigger ones, not the little small ones that would fit in here. So let's maybe go figure out a good design to stick over here. All right, and the build marathon continues on. So we build a few houses. This is where we used to have that two story building. You can still see where it was here. Before I felt like it was maybe a little too tight. And if we wanna build a market over here, we're really gonna need to make sure that that was pushed back a little, just in case we need the road to get a little closer over here to fit those stalls. So I pushed it back a tiny bit from where it originally was. But you can see I tried to keep the two story. We've got a little bit of a side entrance here. So we'll have to figure out where the path can goes here. But there's nothing too fancy in this one. In fact, I still need to light it up. It's got a little bit of an upstairs. I don't know if we're ever going to decorate all of these, but at least we have them. I'm going to put a few more lights in here just to make sure it's mob safe. But there's another one. We got to get some of this wool out of here. And we're getting close. But guys, I don't know if we're going to make it. And we get all these houses. I don't know if we're going to do it all plus the landscaping. But we at least got to fix this area. We got to get this last little bit done. I'm going to grind through. Let's figure out something for here. And something for there. And then we'll call it an episode. Let's start figuring this one out. Okay, and sometime later we have another two houses. I took a little bit of time getting these suckers in. It's it's probably a day or so later, but we got them in. And this kind of rounds out the last portion of what we need to do for this city. So if you want to remember what we originally came, our original goal was that we wanted to keep this alleyway, keep it filling kind of tight. Obviously we gave it a little bit of space. It'll feel a little tighter when we get a tree or two in here. Um, but we wanted to maintain this alleyway and I think we did it. Now, I'm going to stop a little early. We still are missing a house here, a house there, and a house down there. But guys, this has been a lot of work just getting to where we're at now. And the other thing, I'm pretty much out of resources. I don't have much left, so it's time to go resource gathering again before our next episode. So we'll take care of that. But let's do a quick before and after here. So here's the before and here is the after so let me know what you think down in the comments did we make an improvement i mean we're going grayscale so it's it's not quite an improvement but it's something different but i think we got some pretty unique buildings in here i think we maintained the tightness kind of the alleyway look of what it was and we're gonna have some more work to do in the next episode. We need to get this uh, landscaping all in, some trees. We have a few more buildings left to do. So that'll be part two. And there it is with all the new houses in. Now, as I mentioned, we have a few things still missing. We'll do that in the next episode. We'll get this landscape. I want to make sure that the gray comes all the way down here, all the way to the water, just like we have throughout portions of it here. And guys, that's looking pretty awesome. We're getting to a great spot. Perfect timing for the sun. Sun's going down. Episode's going down. So we'll come back next time and we're going to keep finishing out this portion. We might even put a little something here on the hill in the background. But guys, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.